Noise Orchestra is a collective led by myself and Dave and we're interested in noise music and the history of sound art. We use electronics and visual scores to make noises and soundscapes. We're working with the National Media Museum as the artist in residence um, and we're going to be doing a project called Play the Collections. We're working in their collection, so exploring images and objects and then we're generating graphic material from those objects. It's basically kind of an experiment zone that me and Vicky uh, create together, looking at different ways of making sound using light. Graphical sound is the meeting of music and images, and it means you can listen to the sounds of pictures or objects. So for example, we've chosen a gramophone, which has a huge curve, a big sweep, which will be interesting to listen to. We've also chosen one of the folding cameras, which when you look at it on the side, on the portrait side, it has a zigzag edge. So we're choosing things based on what we think they might sound sonically. And also things that we just found visually fun, because there's a lot of really interesting stuff in there. You can make them using paper and a scalpel, so literally drawing out shapes and using um, a cutting board and cutting around these shapes. We can simply enclose and join that together to make like a circular shape and then this circular shape is placed onto a turntable. So at that point you'll see different amounts of shadow being generated from the light and dark areas on the circle. The light source that's emitting onto the photocell is constantly changing. As different amounts of light from the shadows hit that, different sounds generated. The inspiration for the project is research into a group of artists and scientists in 1920s Russia. The idea of noise orchestra and the reason for the project is important. Um, these artists that were working in the 1920s, such as Arseny Avramov, their work was lost in the 30s, so a lot of people aren't aware of these pioneers of sound art working nearly 100 years ago. For us, it's really exciting to be working at the National Media Museum. It means that we are bringing new audiences and interacting with the objects and the collections in new ways and kind of finding ways to make these exciting. So you'll be able to see the performance at the National Media Museum on Saturday the 31st of October. It's going to be a light and sound extravaganza.